Hello, my name is Matthew, and this is day 12 of stories for my friend in quarantine. And I thought I would tell you a childhood memory. Um, something happened today that just made me think of it, and I thought I would share it with you. So, I'm a little kid, and it's past my bedtime. I'm in bed, tossing and turning, and I decide to go into the kitchen. And while I'm walking through the living room, my dad is um, sitting on the couch watching television, and he says, what are you doing up? And I said, well, I'm hungry. And I go into the kitchen. I can't remember exactly how old I was uh, at the time, but to give you an idea, I was old enough to use a microwave, but not old enough to use a stovetop. And I futz around in the kitchen. I don't make anything. I don't eat anything, and I just go back to bed. I shut my door and I get under the covers. And my, my dad comes in and he goes, did you get something to eat? And I said, I couldn't find anything. And he says, come on. So he sits me down at the kitchen table and he makes me a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And he puts it on a plate, puts it on the table, pours a glass of milk and sits it down and he says something to me and before I tell you what he said uh, I'll give you just a little bit of backstory about my dad um, just to put it in context maybe and my dad grew up poor he grew up in um, the project housing in Pittsburgh it was he had several he had several siblings and he, he um, lived with his mother and throughout the years <clears throat> growing up, um, as my dad would tell me stories and uh, details would come up that um, just kind of gave me a better appreciation of his childhood. Things like um, going to bed without dinner or waking up in the morning and not having a lunch or not having lunch money. He would tell me stories about um, eating a salt and pepper sandwich or, or a sandwich that um, is only mayonnaise. Um, th things like that to let me know that um, he, he struggled a lot, the, fa the family struggled a lot. Um, he had a job when he was a kid, a full-time job. He gave all of, his, all of his money to his mother, my um, grandmother. He was a janitor at the high school that he went to. He worked nights as a janitor. After that, he got a job uh, as a janitorial physician at the hospital, at, <clears throat> at a hospital. After that, uh, we moved from Pennsylvania to Maryland uh, because my dad got a job with Johns Hopkins, um, the applied physics lab. And something that I, was never aware of um, was how, how poor my dad was and when he got married and had kids, me and my older brother, they struggled quite a bit and my father and my mother worked very hard um, and um, made a comfortable life for themselves um, and for their two sons. Of course, I'm unaware of all of this. I was just a little kid. But now we're sitting at the table, and my dad had made me this peanut butter jelly sandwich with a glass of milk. And he, sa he says, um, you never have to go to bed hungry. Now it's a very moving memory but uh, it wasn't at the time. I didn't know anything at the time. Uh, to me, I was happy just because I was eating a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And um, that's it. it. Hopefully that's maybe a, a little bit of a touching memory. I don't know. But yeah, uh, being a little kid and having my dad say like, 
you don't have to go to bed hungry, you know, because he's my dad. And I love that. Um, so that's it. Uh, leave a comment if you would like. Um, and thank you.